I'm Jen Dandria. I work at the Boeing Company in Everett, Washington, and I'm an engineering flight line manager. Hello, I'm Anita Robarczak, and I work for Pratt & Whitney, a manufacturer of commercial and military engines in East Hartford, Connecticut, and I'm a senior systems engineer. I know you've changed roles a few times. Well, I did start out in manufacturing. I was putting coatings on high-pressure turbine blades, um, supporting day-to-day -day production support, um, improving the process, um, process certification to um, make improvements in the process, um, standardization and process development. And um, I moved into the customer support role because I wanted to be closer to the product. The product is cool and it's exciting and um, you know who hasn't been to an air show and um, have been in complete awe um, over the, the airplanes or the air vehicles that are flying there. So uh, the technology is really cool. Um, it's something you can really get charged up and be passionate about. My job Every day is a different problem. And it's just, airplanes are so big. They're so big. I had no ambition of going this route. I've ended up at Boeing and in aerospace by, by chance, I'd say. Um, worked at two previous companies that had nothing to do with aerospace, which is what's great about having an engineering degree, is that you can kind of pick and choose. It, nothing is the same thing, cookie cutter. Uh, we have issues when airplanes fly and come back and my engineering team has to be engaged with that and then assess risk management over if we have to repair an aircraft or do testing on an aircraft, how that's going to impact the, the milestone of ticketing and delivering. Um, challenges are nonstop. What kind of challenges do you have? It's not only enough to know your own job, you need to know what everybody else in the business is doing too because everything is so integrated. So um, I need to understand the job of what our people are doing in production and our test facilities um, and at the air vehicle manufacturers because all of that integrates and none of it kind of stands alone. Taking all the extra time you have to be learning about the business and about the processes, about what your customer wants and needs because ultimately we need to tailor our products to what their needs are and what their needs are in the changing environment. Um, one of the things I've been able to do was get several mentors at work, you know, a technical mentor, um, one to help with business processes and development, one to help me developing my leadership skills. I've gotten my master's through Boeing, you know, one of the, the benefits we have. I've also been part of a leadership development program that is uh, an elite, it's considered an elite program at Boeing. And within that leadership program, I've been exposed to uh, the larger Boeing picture, which is great. Uh, I've got to be able to take uh, hands-on projects and develop management and leadership skills. I think many of the best and brightest engineers in this industry are part of professional organizations such as ASME. It's been a great way for me to meet other people in the industry and learn about some of the newest and best technologies that are out there. What are some of the critical skills that you use daily? I think early on in your career it's important to strengthen your technical skills so you can gain a lot of credibility in your field. It is a highly complex and integrated systems that we're working on um, in the industry and it's important to gain that technical credibility first. It's also important to continually uh, learn about your business, learn about the products and the customers and what their needs are. I think the most effective engineers are ones that can convey their technical expertise and knowledge clearly and concisely to others. We have issues that pop up daily and you need to have good communication to go you know, across your engineering skill code as well as to the people actually building the aircraft. So I talk to the pilots, we talk to the customer and getting their feedback over the airplane and finding out how satisfied or dissatisfied they are and then how we as engineering can fix that. It's, it's a dynamic, high stress environment with long hours and it's, it's a challenge and we go into engineering for the challenge and for the passion and everything's tied together. It's, it's amazing. If you're willing to, you can learn a lot more about the business um, and the products and technologies and, and spend a career kind of moving around and never getting bored. Um, there's always new challenges. Every day, to, every day is exciting um, and uh, there are many options and opportunities to kind of mold your career into what you want it to be.